set up a freshwater aquarium, you're going to need your tank, your strong stand. Remember, water is very heavy, so you want to go with a designated aquarium stand. You don't want to just put a fish tank on a piece of furniture. I've heard nightmare stories where just, the stand collapses three months down the road. So you want to make sure the stand is very, very strong. And then for the filtration system, there are a lot of options. You can have a canister filter, which goes in the cabinet. I, I prefer a canister filter for freshwater aquariums. It's, it's silent, the hoses run up the back of the aquarium. You can pack whatever you want inside the canister filter. If you have the luxury of going with a wet dry filter, like some people that had a saltwater aquarium and now they're modifying it to keep fresh water, you won't have any oxygen or very limited pH problems with a wet dry filter because the water is being oxygenated constantly. It's a little bit more of an investment. The tank is going to be a little bit more expensive to allow for this type of filtration, but um, it's basically saltwater filtration applied to fresh water. For most freshwater aquariums, you want either a canister filter or a simple hang on the back filter, like the old whisper filters and magnum filters. It just sits on the back of the aquarium, it oxygenates the water, filters the water. Uh, you're going to want an air pump because you know the fish are going to need a lot of oxygen and relying on the, the filter alone usually isn't enough. So you'd want a strong air pump, put a check valve in the line so the water doesn't back siphon through the hose and flood the floor. You're going to want a good heater, um, preferably a fully submersible heater. Put it down a little bit low in the aquarium so when you do water changes you don't have to worry about having the top half of the filter exposed to the air. That, that temperature difference on the heater will crack the heater. So you want to make sure your heater is submerged very, very low in the aquarium. You also don't want to put your thermometer right next to it. You want to put it away from the heater so you're, you're picking up the true temperature of the water, not just the heated water next to the heater. As far as other things that you need to know to set up a, an aquarium, you're going to want a lot of decorations. The fish need to feel secure, but you don't want to do too much where it just traps a lot of detritus and waste. So just a good balance of decorations. I like to slope the gravel from the front to the back at a slight angle to just visually it makes the whole tank become in focus. If the, the gravel is flat, it just doesn't look as good. <clears throat> also stack the decorations from small to high. Put your high plants in the back. And finally, go with a nice background decoration. Um, you can buy things that you could tape onto the back of the tank. I like to spray paint the tank. You use regular black or blue spray paint. Do it when the tank is empty. Do it outside and let it, let it dry real well and then you'll have a solid background that should last years. And that's it, just have fun. Oh, 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 oh,